G'day, I'm Sam, this is Jono, and we're from the Cybercrime Training Prevention Section. This week is Scam Awareness Week, and the theme is Let's Talk Scams. So we're going to hit the streets, and we're going to talk scams. Can we do it? Let's do it. Alright, the first example we've got here is of an ad to purchase a puppy. What do you reckon? I reckon it's a legit one because I know the French Bulldog puppies are expensive. Can you tell me what you think about this? Um, I'm gonna go with... French Bulldog pups, what do you reckon? Scam or legit? Well, uh, French Bulldogs are never 1,400. You're looking at about $9,000, so without anything, I'm gonna say scam. It looks legit to me. I don't know. Um... <laughs> They've got the, the correct picture for the breed. A scam. Price is definitely right for French Bulldogs, that's for sure. Yeah. I don't, so we're... Thinking this is probably legit? Yeah, I would say yeah, so. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. This one is actually a scam. Is it? Yeah, so what, what they're trying to do here is they're trying to get you to send your ID to view the puppy. They want a copy of your driver's license and then they can use that for identity fraud to commit other offences. It's good to know. Okay, the second one is a text message from your credit union. What do you think about this one? Um, I think... Um, it's hard to tell actually. It's not very specific. No, it says your account's being suspended and requires verification. It says please follow the link or visit the nearest branch and the web address doesn't really match. I would never um, press that, I would never open it. And it asks you to click a link, so it's definitely yeah. not. God no. It's yeah. not real. So we're saying scam? It's a scam. Yeah. Could be scam. Oh, it's hard to tell actually. What do you reckon about this one? I think it's a scam. This is a scam too. You're quite scam aware because this is also a scam. <laughs> so <laughs> you've nailed that one. Spot on. So the URL or the web address, um, as you can read, it doesn't actually connect to a credit union at all. So that's a big no-no. Would you ever consider clicking on a link like that? No. So if in doubt, contact your bank directly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah thank you. So the next one here, we've got another text message. Yeah. This time, it's from a food delivery company. What do you reckon about this one? I, I don't know if it's legitimate. Well, I've never heard of Express Meals to you. Yeah, neither so have I. I probably it's... wouldn't be clicking on anything. Um, I mean, it's quite nice that lunch is on them, but... Um... That can be a scam, actually, because they want you to sus subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a scam. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't like the look of this one. I wouldn't even open it. Yeah, that's good advice. If in doubt, then yeah, don't click on the link and don't open it. This one here is actually legitimate. Is it? I think I'm going to have a Cajun chicken salad. What are you thinking? Maybe some sort of falafel for me. <laughs> okay, the next one. We're looking at a sign-in attempt from your Amazon account. This looks like an email. What are your thoughts? Um, initially, like I think it looks legitimate. I don't know. It could be could be right because the bottom it says Amazon.com. And then they want me to either change my password or give them information. So 100% I would not click on it. One thing I'd probably do is like click the email address. Because currently it just says Amazon.com. So they're not really asking for any details and it's more of a warning that someone's signed into your account. Are we locking in scam? Yeah. Yeah. Spot on. You've absolutely nailed all those points. And I really like the idea of checking the, uh, the actual address that the email has come from. Yeah, so you can make contact with the company. You could log into your account. Um, through the website, so not following the link not on the email. The link, yes. The last one here is about a package, and they're asking what your delivery preference is. What do you reckon? And I, I guess it would depend if I was expecting something from Australia Post. Like if I wasn't, that'd be an immediate red flag. I would probably click on that and then see what they say. Uh, it looks like a scam because they say it's Australian Post at yandex.com.au. So we're saying scam. Yeah. Guys, yeah. you've nailed this one. These scammers like to use really legitimate companies' um, pictures and basically mirror their product to try and uh, elicit you out of your money, basically, so or your uh, personal identity. I copy it and send it to my daughter. That's perfect. Sometimes it is better to get a second opinion, someone you know that can take a step back and go, hang on, have you thought about this? Have a think about this. You haven't actually yes. bought anything, or well, this is not how yeah. Australia Post would contact you. 